What's up, YouTube? It's Biblical Truther. I'm making this video yet again. Uh, it's kind of the fourth video on this subject. Uh, going back to the original video I made of my wife's dream of what she said was this massive uh, computer complex that she was shown in a, a vision or dream. I don't remember exactly which one it was. But I made a video about it when it first happened. That was January of 2020. Then she and I made another video on uh, the Biblical Truther 81 channel um, where she and I both uh, appeared in the video and she went through her experience. And then again, uh, just a few months ago, I come across Dante's Inferno and the depiction of, of uh, Dante's Inferno was a lot like this computer. Well, Adding to what I started talking about yesterday uh, with the video about the Li-Fi, um, I failed to mention in there that Li-Fi doesn't work with 5G. It only works with 6G and beyond. And at my house, uh, once we, we ended up having to get internet hooked up at the house, um, but it actually shows up as 6G, not 5G. Uh, so when I hook my phone up to the Wi-Fi, it says 6 on my phone. So the Li-Fi, if this is what's causing these animals to walk in circles, is uh, more than capable of, of being introduced to the public, so to speak, uh, for whatever nefarious purposes they are going to use this for. But um, yesterday, when I was watching Extreme Reality Check, I watched a video before I watched the one of that had the clip that I included in the video yesterday, but the first one I watched, uh, she was going over a bunch of different clips that she had from Westworld, and how season four, I uh, haven't seen this series, so if you haven't, or you haven't got the season four, uh, this might be a small spoiler alert, but everyone remembers about um, the mosquitoes, the GMO mosquitoes that were being released in Florida and Texas. Well, in the episode of this uh, of Westworld, I don't think it's in the clip I'm going to play here in a second, but they were talking about how this AI computer um, genetically modified mosquitoes to spread this uh, black goo substance to inject people with. And uh, the clip that I'm fixing to play showed the, I guess you would call it a computer, uh, but check this out. Let me play the video first. Check it out. So back to the Westworld predictive programming, that this is how the AI worked in that series as well. The insects weren't the only step. The next step was this tower system then that interfaced the people who were infected with the technology into the AI hive mind. What was that? What? You can't hear it. I hear it. Perhaps it's not at a frequency you can hear. The sound is coming from this device. Let me in. 
so you see the shape of this thing. It's much like the Dante's Inferno depiction. Uh, what my wife drew from her vision or dream uh, regarding this simulation type situation we find ourselves in. even more um, concreting what I'm, I guess the conclusion I'm coming to is this right here from IBM. That is called the beast. The beast quantum computer. Uh, so if the truth in movies, truth in TV shows and all that, uh, you believe in that sort of thing, which I do because I do believe they have to tell us what they're doing before they do it. So this is kind of another way that they do it. So they put it in shows and TV shows, movies, etc. Uh, a lot of which I'm noticing now watching cartoon movies with my children. They put a lot of truth drops in, in children's movies. But... Um, this thing is networked all across the world through many, many different quantum computers. It's not just D-Wave that everyone was talking about back in 2016, 2017. Like, these quantum computers are everywhere. Along with CERN devices, almost on every continent now. Uh, maybe not as big as the one in Switzerland, but they are still there. And if it has anything to do with these type of computers, I don't know. But in regards to the video I made yesterday about the movie Cell, do y'all remember the, 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 and I don't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but the video that came about, it was probably 2017, 2018, where they were showing these carpenter ants kind of just crawling all over the ground, and they set their cell phone down and called it, and as soon as that phone started ringing, those ants started traveling in a circle around their cell phone, just like just like the animals are doing here lately, just not around a cell phone. So, I think it's something else uh, causing them to do that, but it also ties in with this quantum realm that we live in. I don't know if it's 100% holographic simulation that we are jacked in, uh, making it real to us through our central nervous system. I don't know if that's true or not, but as I've said in the past, if everything emanated from God Almighty, the true and living creator, then everything simulated from him. So technically, I guess it could be a simulation now, whether or not physicality and, and holographic technologies uh, can be merged, which I'm hearing now that they can. They're making some uh, holographic 3D printed holograms. So it has to do with some claytronics and stuff also. But I just find it interesting that this stuff came about yesterday with, with the whole uh, solar farm up in the sky. And then now, um, I'm finding this yet again. This thing, this frequency that is being basically broad band across, you know, across, or over our heads rather. Um, and even in the movie Cell, there was a scene in that movie where John Cusack and the others came across this, I think it was a, a cell tower at the end of the movie, where all these people were walking circles around the cell tower. So, as I stated yesterday, I believe it's a beta test, but it's too odd not to have a cover story. So. I think the whole cover story of electromagnetics changing and all that uh, is, is just that, a cover story. It has nothing to do with what is actually causing these animals to do this. Uh, it is my opinion that 
with this 6G that they have installed all over the place, which I have a good feeling they're at 7 or 8G by now because they were talking about 8G in 2010 in some TED Talks that I've uh, listened to. So I have no doubt that they are far beyond 6G. Uh, that's just... They're not admitting it. Uh, however, everything, everything we were made to believe uh, 5G was like this pinnacle thing that they were trying to achieve and, and as Trump said in his speech, 6G and beyond, uh, but I'm here to testify I have 6G at my house. So if that's being the case and the video that I got taken down, uh, my second video on this channel that was taken down was proof that the Li-Fi only works with 6G and above, um, then I think that's what's causing these animals to walk in circles. It's a beta test on how much area or land or subjects, perhaps, that they can affect using this new um, whatever they put up in the sky that follows the sun. And I believe it's just taking that uh, light frequency from the sun to stay charged in order to do what it does, but it has something else going on with it that is not just beaming sunlight, uh, amplified sunlight down to these solar farms that are all over the earth as well. So I just thought that was crazy, man. Um, we're heading for some crazy times coming up. You know, things are going to get more sci-fi as, as time goes on. But as I said, they, I made a video a long time ago about how when stuff hits the mainstream, it's usually a year in advance. Um, so quite possibly, and it's just my opinion and speculation that a year to possibly two years from now, um, we're going to see some major changes with people, in people. And just as I put in that video yesterday, if you watched it and read, you know, the, the text that I put on the screen about how they can open and close these channels and open and close neurons and, and basically control your moves and how you think and all these other types of things via light frequencies or Li-Fi that all the prophetic dreams that people's had of people just... And the Bible even says it, you know, that uh, the beast, uh, or, or, yeah, the beast, you know, when, when the Antichrist comes, he will take peace from the earth and men will begin to kill each other. So, I see that's exactly what's, what's unfolding. I think this thing, this technology is going to make people do exactly that, exactly what the Bible prophesied. So... I just wanted to throw this out there, man. This is the fourth time I've come across this computer shape uh, after my wife had this vision or dream where she was basically um, escorted through and shown to get on a tour of this tungsten plate covered uh, machine with these pods that were full of thousands if not millions, as she said, of um, uh, brains that were being controlled by the mainframe of this computer. So perhaps all these D-waves and all these other quantum computers that are all around are just like, uh, you know, extensions of the IBM beast because there's no other ones the size of this beast you know, uh, that I've found yet. They're all much smaller than it, so it could be the, you know, and it's also shaped like a beehive, so it's the queen bee who is, you know, funneling its uh, orders to all these other small delta wave, which is, you know, your sweet state brain pattern uh, wave uh, quantum computers. So just another correlation man if y'all thought we were crazy about the simulation and that you know that she was a little out there with this uh, vision or dream that she had uh, but it is definitely 
all over the place. It's, it's in a lot of different things, uh, the shape of this thing. And I just find that too, uh, too much of a coincidence to be a coincidence at all. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not right with Jesus Christ, get right with him because I can testify that the things that used to affect me in the past don't affect me like they do now or, or don't affect me the way I am now, I should say. Um, and, I, and I contribute that strictly to Christ himself. He's the one who delivered me from this technology. It's, it's Even if it was ingested or injected by these GMO mosquitoes, it has no effect on me. Just like the Bible says, you know. Um, so yeah, I would pray that you all get right with him. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints.